concept. Uh, what is the use of this particular concept in the sense? Basically, you might have seen uh, so many e-commerce websites. Let me show you Amazon or something. Okay. What is the use of this particular e-commerce website? Here you can purchase some uh, particular products, whatever it is. Okay, leave that particular concept. See, here you can uh, find some uh, images where uh, here it is not the thing. You will be seeing in some places where images will be changing. That means first you can uh, see one particular ad. After some time, it will change to some other ad. Got it, right? How that uh, ads will be changing on your uh, web page? That we are going to see now. Whereas ads in the sense, it is sequence of arrays. Let's say if my customer, they want to promote uh, their product in the sense, they will pay me some amount and they will give the ad what I have to display over there and link which has to be connected. So, all the images I will be storing into one array, I will be displaying one by one with some delay. Got it? How to display that particular images one by one with some delay, we are going to see now. Okay? In this example. Now, see, beside our uh, particular a.html program, I have stored the images a.png, b.png, c.png till f.png and some other images also I have stored. Now, what I will do, I will create an array with all those particular image names. till f dot png my images a b c d e f okay images are there next i will initialize i value to zero that means it will be pointing to this particular image and if you observe the same ad for five minutes or ten minutes first it will show adidas ad then it will show hit ad then it will show some car ad it will show like this some ads it will show after certain images is completed then it will start from first add only again correct now same way here also we will start from here we will go to all the images once it is completed again we will start from first image clear that is one thing second thing that images changing i mean ads changing on click of something it is happening otherwise on page opening it is happening by default, whenever you open the page, it will start changing, right? It will not wait until you click. Once if you click, it is not starting. Once if you open the page itself, it is starting, the image is changing. So, what we will be doing? See, here, body on load. Whenever body is uh, loaded itself, I will be calling display function. That means, whenever the web page is opened, body tag is loaded, my function will start working. Yes. We have uh, one particular image over here, default image. Now on load, we will be calling this function. We will check if i equal to a dot length minus one. Suppose if it is there in the last position, I have to reset i value to zero. That means I have to move back. Suppose if it is there, if we are starting from zero, so, length to minus 1 we have to check. If it is there in the last position, we have to reset back to 0. If it is not there in the last position, else, 
i equal to i plus 1. Suppose if it is there in the somewhere starting position, mid position, somewhere in the sense, will increment 1 by 1. Is that clear? Any doubts? Okay. Document dot dd j of i okay see first i i have initialized to 0 0 is not equal to length minus 1 it is not equal to length minus 1 so what we are doing we are incrementing i value by 1 now i is 1 a of i that means a of 1 what is the image b dot png that i am displaying as a source to this particular image is that clear after displaying after 1000 milliseconds delay 1000 milliseconds delay I am calling display function. Again, control will call same function. Now, again we will check i value is equal to end of the array. If it is not, we will increment to next one. We will go to this. That image we will set as a source. Again, after 1000 milliseconds, we will perform. Once it reaches to end of the array, we will start from zero. It will keep on repeating till you close the window. It will not stop anywhere. It is a recursive function. Is that clear? Let me show you the output. That's it. It will keep on rotating like that only. Clear? Any doubts? Set timeout. It is a predefined function which will take function name as parameter which has to be called and it will take the milliseconds how many milliseconds it has to wait see here I have specified display function has to be called after 1000 milliseconds delay first we are printing after 1000 milliseconds delay again I am calling so that it will print next image again after 1000 milliseconds it will keep on it is just like after every second we will be changing clear Make it out.